So I'm gonna uh, show you guys further testing on here. On my previous video, I had um, I didn't have a flywheel that time, and I purchased it and put it on here on the on the shaft. So um, this is the SP500 generator uh, kit I purchased from uh, Creative Science, and I've showed in my first video. Um, all right, so, uh, well, according to their manual, uh, that's supposed to be the, um, I mean, you can use it as a primary mover or you can use as a generator. So the way they have wired is the uh, the eight coils. Uh, this one has a 16 neodymium magnets, so eight uh, magnets on each disc, okay? So it's a north-south, north-south, and goes on and uh, they are connected in series and uh, here are the output terminals so um, well according to them they said you don't need to have another primary mover uh, this one like a uh, that's supposed to have uh, the uh, commutators which I already had the commutators here uh, this one was the one we made with the copper and uh, this is the one I purchased from them. So difference between them is this one is slightly smaller. I don't. It didn't make any big difference when I was using the commutator with a brush assembly. Uh, this one. Uh, I think this is the waste. Um, I mean, uh, this commutator thing uh, because even I put it there commutator I could I could very easily stop the, uh, the when it was spinning you know if you you cannot have any re, uh, resistance on it uh, even I put the uh, uh, capacitors these capacitors are whatever they recommended from their manual um, this is a 400 volt uh, 50 microfarad motor run capacitors my dogs <laughs> anyway um, so now it is still connected here. I'm not sure it's connect. I, I, I'm I'm doing that correctly um, because I'm not using this this one as a primary mover. I am using the. I just this is my ID. I put it in here. This is the um, washing machine uh, um, hub motor. Um, so. Um, this is the three phase coming here and it connects to the uh, frequency uh, controller. Controller. This one is the 220 volt. Um, but I had it. I, I purchased the 110, but I had a problem with the buttons. So it was not that responsive because if it picks up the speed, you know, it, it didn't have a, a quick response time. So. I had to unplug that otherwise uh, it would just you know fly here and I want to have a control so this one has a better control I mean I can press and hold and I would just drop the speed out uh, the way I want so I don't have to have a potentiometer here anyway move forward now um, this is my primary mover instead of using this one as a primary mover so my idea was to uh, this one was my build and uh, then uh, they told me uh, something, uh, you know, I was not getting good results and uh, they said, oh, if you would purchase our stuff, uh, this way you definitely would. Well, um, I'm getting the power from here. I mean, if I will spin with that, but uh, as far as the to be this one, the primary mover, <laughs> I mean, I can I can hold it just I don't have to force you know to hold the uh, the shift and I can stop very easily this one had a hard time even to light up I mean power on this uh, uh, 13 watt uh, just computer fan I mean this is really really basic stuff I was trying to power on and I, I could not and I had a I have a variac and uh, you know um, I thought just you know this is just waste of the money and the time and then I decided to uh, put this one on here to be as a primary mover and um, now uh, yes I am I am able to spin that um, this uh, the uh, now it is the, supposed to be the alternator or generator and I was uh, thinking if I would put another 
um, the flywheel, I mean put the flywheel here, give a little load and uh, create some inertia. It would compensate to the uh, um, power I'm using, but uh, I don't see anything uh, uh, made any difference. I don't know because I'm not picking up the speed enough. Uh, or um, and plus this one is not balanced because this one has a side uh, the big chunk and it's not centered so when it starts spinning about uh, 400 500 rpm uh, I mean uh, it's really wob uh, you know vibrating so I have to hold it down so enough to talking and I'm gonna give you the uh, what I'm putting in and what I'm putting out so um, I don't have any transformers or anything, just basic setup with the, uh, the capacitors and uh, this. Okay, let's get started then. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it down that it's a 160 hertz. So I'm going to bring it down around 72 and... Okay, there we go. So now I have a bulb. Oops, let's put this one on here. So this one is rotating, it's not a full uh, uh, the, uh, the bright uh, light yet, but I'm spinning this one um, uh, 180 RPM, pretty quiet, I mean uh, that works very well this, uh, but uh, you know um, uh, the torque adjustment is a little, uh, you know, the crazy. I cannot put the um, load right when it's running like that, and this one will start uh, vibrating, uh, stalling, and all this stuff. And so I have to unplug that uh, from there. But uh, if I will do the slow pickup, um, then it works fine. So now I'm going to increase the speed. I'm going to put like a hundred. Nika, Nika, can you move this way? I'm just still careful, I, I don't want to fly anything off of it. So if I will pick like a hundred, hundred fifty... Okay, now I'm picking up the full brightness from the light bulb. And this one is, look at that if you can see, this one is vibrating. Okay, so it is uh, because it just this side you know that's what it makes a vibration so yeah now my speed is okay 390 rpm 91 okay and I have a this one is um, full uh, brightness so I'm gonna measure the I'm gonna measure how many volts I get here if I can do that with one hand, okay. Put this here. Hopefully, I don't get electrocuted. <laughs> All right. So, right now I have a hundred fourteen hundred sixteen volt. Okay. So that's why it's bright now, and it's good. I can increase that, but this is just a normal voltage I needed. I mean, the regular household uh, voltage. That's how it's supposed to be. All right, so now I'm going to check the uh, amperage I'm drawing. Okay, so this one is... One point six. I don't know. One point seven. I don't know if this light bulb draws that much. One point seven amp. And it goes eight, seven. Anyway, so this is the one leg, and uh, six, seven. Anyway, so one point seven. So this one goes through the capacitor as well. I don't know if these capacitors are connected correctly. I'm up for any. Uh, oh, 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 Jesus. This one was just moving like a crazy. Hopefully, I won't. Shoot. Now, 
it's better now hopefully it won't drop see it's vibrating terribly so uh, hopefully it will give me enough time here um, um, and I will check the uh, temperature in here in uh, in this um, it's it's okay uh, that does not create any any problem there but uh, all right so so we checked the uh, output current so now I'm gonna put the uh, just check the input current how much we draw here uh, so so now I'm using so I'm using 2.5 2.6 amps 2.7 amps well yeah because all right, so I'm using more to run this, spin this motor and all this stuff, but uh, I don't know how much I can put the load on here because, um, see, if I try like that and try to start it, see, you see that? So I had to unplug that. See, if I tried that, it would just stop and start vibrating inside. So you guys are witnessing. So I guess I need to increase the torque on uh, this uh, this motor. I mean the uh, on this controller. So when I increase the torque, um, um, see this one is pretty cold. I mean it's not not, not even warm. Just like a you know just light slightly warm I mean you can't even feel it but anyway I guess I can increase the torque a little bit um, so but uh, you guys saw what happened now so in here uh, so even I put this uh, the flywheel I'm still drawing 2.7 um, amps on uh, this is a 250 watt uh, light bulb and um, drawing the 2.7 amps, including this everything, and uh, now I want to remove this flywheel and see what happens. So just remove the flywheel and uh, let's check the measurements. Uh, with my hand, just let me plug this in. Sorry about that. All right, so now I can. Now this one has a much better, much better balance here. You see that? It's increasing the speed. It's not a full speed yet. Now it is a full speed. So I got a full bright light here now. More quieter, less vibration. Because of this, I mean, I can get the flywheel or machinist can make it for me, but I wanna, I wanted to test it out first. If I was, if I, um, I don't want this one to be picked up from the magnet. So let's test it out the RPM. Three hundred ninety. All right, let's test it out. What I'm drawing here, one point four, one point five, one point six, about the same. I mean, the two point six seven. It's about the same, uh, same as I was using with a, a flywheel. So uh, let's check this. So 1.5, 1.6, same thing probably on here too. Yeah, it's the same thing. But uh, now let's bypass these um, capacitors and let's see how much this light bulb is drawing exactly. Um, 1.67. Okay. So uh, if this one is taking. 1.7 amp and uh, I am running the motor including the fitting the light bulb um, this one is two 
2.6, 2.7. Okay, so I, I'm using the one amp to spin this motor practically. Okay, so this is um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect this light bulb and uh, see, just run this one um, without any load. So I'm gonna I remove the uh, any load that there is no load and uh, I'm gonna just gonna I'm gonna put this one 160. All right, so it's picking up speed. I don't want to go over speed here because it it is not safe here. Uh. Okay, now it's uh, in the full speed operation. I'm in 160 hertz, and uh, this one is spinning on 402 uh, RPM. Now I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check the how much amperage I'm drawing here without the load so it should not be too much you know how much it is um, it's like a 0 0.3 amps that's really low um, that's it's probably half of the amp uh, spinning that all right, uh, I guess, um, I mean, I can, I mean, I want to be really, a little careful in here. Hold on. With one hand, I guess I need to find something uh, to hold this camera so, uh, so I can uh, do the better troubleshooting and so I can show you everything. So I can increase the speed. I can go up to 1,000. But uh, I don't want to, I don't want to just, you know, now it is, it's a 633, uh, 34 RPM, it's very cool now, it's running, I can test the voltage, how much I'm doing, let me pause, so the voltage is not too much, it's a 222 volt, um, it's on 600 RPM, but uh, you know what I'm interested in. Uh, I when I check this amperage here, if I drop that, I don't know if it's measuring correctly. Um, that's it shows me 70, 71 amp. I don't know how this one is measured. Uh, I mean, I can check the I can check the per leg. And uh, it shows 2.5 amp. It doesn't even have a load. But if I do both of them, if I do both of them, uh, the legs in here, it shows me 71 amp. I don't know what what is that. How how can you measure? Why is it showing me 71 amps like that? So this is um, uh, that's I just want to show you it's a little longer video hopefully um, you'll have enough patience to watch that but uh, this is what I have so far any comments I really appreciate that thank you guys.